<laughs> All right, so we're back here. Uh, it's been a couple days. I haven't had a lot of time to get to this, but we're gonna go ahead and pop these. Uh, we got the the valve covers off. I, I don't know why I was selling saying cylinder cap all day, but uh, valve covers are off. We're gonna take these rockers off, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and um, unbolt the exhaust manifold. Um, I've been coming in and kind of soaking these in a uh, uh, PC or B, PV blaster. Uh, this, this stuff uh, works really well. Uh, so I'm hoping that they won't come out, or that they will come out pretty well. But just in case they don't, I purchased this at Harbor Freight. It's a uh, bolt extractor set. Um, I, hopefully I won't snap any of those off, but uh, it's been known to happen. And uh, if I do end up stripping one, I've got these. So these will grip on a stripped bolt and hopefully get them out. So we'll go ahead and do that. Take the other side off. It looks like it's going to be a little harder with all that that wiring harness in the way. So we'll go ahead and pull those out and then uh, we'll take the push rods and we'll make sure those are straight. And uh, all this stuff's gotta be put in the specific order that it's gonna go back in. So we'll make sure that it's in the right spot. Oh, also we got new knock sensors. So we're gonna pull those out. Um, this is the other part of it. So we'll put those in there too. Okay, so we got all the rockers and push rods out. I've got them all labeled and when they're supposed to be. We'll clean those up later. Um, the bolts for those, each one of those little bolt hole is where that's held on. And then those, those right there are where the valve head bolts go in. So now we're going to start working on these. I loosened all these up. Uh, we didn't have any issues. So we're going to pull those exhaust bolts off. And uh, then we'll start working on what we do this uh, little crossing here. And we'll pull those off and then we'll start uh, undoing those cylinder heads. We've got the spark plugs out. The exhaust manifold is unbolted from 
the cylinder head. But all those little bolts down in there. You can't see right now. Okay, those little bolts down in there. I can't really get to those to undo them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down there underneath and unbolt this part of the exhaust manifold. Okay. All right, I removed the coolant pipe from the 10 millimeter bolt here, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right, right there. There's also some coolant <coughs> plugs that you gotta remove right here. And right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take that cylinder head off. Um, per the instructions here, um, it says we're supposed to uh, reverse these out, you loosen them out a quarter turn increments in the um, order of the tightening, the reverse order of the tightening. <coughs> um, so, we're going to start with 15, it looks like. All right, so we got all of the of the heads, the head bolts um, unbolted. They're all ready to come off. What's important to note is that all these bolts are different sizes. These are 10 millimeters. They're much shorter. But what's really interesting is the ones I believe on both ends on the inside. There we go. I'm not really sure how long that is, but five, five and a half inches. Uh, that's on the end. But then we go to this next one. 
and it is quite a bit longer. We got top, side, down here, these are the long ones too. I wonder if this one back over here. I've got all new bolts, so as long as I keep track of which ones are really short and which ones are long, we shouldn't have any issues. These all are short ones. Hopefully, when I pull this other one out, that is going to be a pain in the ass. There's a long bolt. It barely goes in. Maybe we'll just pull the head off with that one. So. And we'll go ahead and try to pull this thing off. All that coolant is hanging out. I was able to catch most of it. Oh my gosh. Well, we're going to try and take these boots out. I don't know, I can't tell if it's blown to or not, but... Now, let's see what's over here. So we got coolant in the cylinders. I don't see anything wrong. So far with the cylinders, but we'll have to come back and clean all this up. We'll unbolt those and look at the lifters. I don't know. Might as well, since they are here. Man, these. I'm not a mechanic by any means, and I have not done really any research on taking apart the bottom. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to clean this out as much as we can and just put a new header on there and call it a day. Okay, so kind of cleaned up those, get all that coolant out of there. Uh, we're going to look over on this side. We still got to do the exhaust and everything over here but what we're going to do first is we're going to take this alternator off and do that we're going to have to take the uh, serpentine belt off so if we look down here this right here I think 
yeah, that moves. So this is your tensioner pulley. So we're gonna stick that on there. Pull it that way. Oh, this is so hard to do with one hand. There we go. Pull that off. Pull it off the alternator. Let that back down. And in case you were wondering what your thing looks like, you've got a little diagram over here. So it's pretty easy to figure out. Oh, it even says where your tensioner is. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so now we've got some mounting brackets. We're gonna have to take off. I think they wanted to take Daniel wants to take this whole bracket off, which would be that bolt, that bolt down there. There should be, yeah, there's another one right there. So if we take those off, power steering pump will come with it. Maybe we can just lay that off to the side with the power steering stuff still connected, so we'll try that. Okay, so, we talked about this earlier, there's that bolt, that bolt, and that bolt there. Well, there's also that bolt right there. That one right there. Let's see. Right there. See that? That one. Right there. All those come out. And then we should be able to move this power steering pump and alternator out of the way. Alright. Here you got it apart. It's off of the cylinder head. Um, this one that was on the side, the one down over there. Um, let's see. Right there. That one was much shorter. Um, so we got here. So we had. Those were the three up top and the one underneath, and then that one in the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark a bag and put those in there, and uh, we'll start taking the manifold off. <laughs> 